Hi, I'm Lindsay from Shreve Memorial Library and welcome to Art Club. Today we're going to draw and paint Portrait of a Woman in Dermine Pass by Pablo Picasso. This is a cubist portrait of his wife, Olga. So cubism is showing things from multiple sides. Um, I'll put a picture up here <laughs> to show you what I'm talking about, where you're seeing like multiple sides of the thing just kind of translated to, um, to 2D. Uh, so that's, that's kind of that. You see her eyes are kind of, her, her face is kind of flattened out. Um, yeah, most uh, cubism, straight cubism, um, didn't use colors this bright. So this kind of has some elements of surrealism in it. Um, but we'll just call it cubism. Picasso had such a long career that he founded and was active in a bunch of different art movements, a bunch of them. Um, and this is just kind of a mixture between one, he painted this in 1923. So, um, yeah, Picasso is a really interesting guy. Anyway, um, for this one, you will need very minimum, a pencil with an eraser, a good eraser. Um, and you'll want something to color it with. You, I'm using watercolors. You don't have to use watercolors. You can use crayons or colored pencils or whatever you have around or markers or whatever. Um, you'll also need some paper. I'm using watercolor paper because I'm watercoloring. Um, and you'll want a pen at the end. Um, you'll be able, really, if you want to, you can do it um, just like with dark paint, but it'll be a lot easier to put some of these lines in with a pen. Uh, we'll do that after everything's dry. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is you see that just blank space at the top of the page? I don't know why that's there, but it's there. And we're going to leave it there. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a straight edge. You can use a ruler. You cannot use a straight edge and just draw a straightish line. It's all good. Um, I'm going to say that that's about here and just use a piece of watercolor paper to draw a line across. Don't worry if it's not perfectly straight, we're gonna go over it anyway. So there's my line, okay? And almost everything is ends up below this. So I'm gonna start with a hat and it starts about here, right? Comes down like that. And then on this side, it comes down like that, okay? And then from there, it comes out and we get the brim of it, right? So I'm going to do this and bring this around here. And on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. This comes around here, okay? On this one, we have this slanty black line comes down like that not quite that much but good enough and then we have the line of this ribbon over here and this goes to this corner kind of like that the top one goes a little bit over that and then the bottom comes down like that and then this whole thing comes around from about right there and I'm just leaving this out. It's all gonna be painted black. I'm just giving us a line for where her hair is and all of that. So we have this and then we have her hair coming down to about, and make lighter lines than I am um, in case you need to erase. So this comes down to about what here? Maybe we're gathers in a ponytail. So just this light arc like that, okay, and then we have the ponytail. Up here, we have from about here, right, and then this comes down and arcs, oh, about right there a little bit, and then it comes back up like that, and then it slants all the way down to there. So I'm going to do this, it's just kind of a curve down here. Okay. Let's see. And then the rest of her hair comes up 
about, let's see, it starts really, starts about here, all right, and then it comes out a little bit, and then down to meet this, this line, and I'm going to smooth that out a little bit. There we go. It's not really smooth. That's more what I want. Okay, just be sure you're using a good eraser if you're doing these. And mark lightly until you are sure you're happy. Okay. So there's that. What's that? I'm going to bring this down like that. And then I'm going to be happier with it. Now this is all just like, we're not trying to hit perfection here because I mean, we can't replicate a Picasso. Nobody can replicate really any work of art more than once and make it exact. Um, so we're not even trying with that. We're just going to do our best. Okay. So there's that. We can go ahead. Let's see. This comes in. We'll do the shape of her face. This comes in like this and then curves a little bit and then goes really about to there, right? And then we'll come in and do more details. There's her chin, and then the chin slants up to about there, okay? We can come back and change this if we need to. Okay, so we'll say that's her chin, and then that's the basic shape of her face. So let's go ahead and do the first eye. <laughs> which is up here. Um, let's see, let's do just the top eyelid, which is just a little arc and it goes from about right here to right here, like that, all right? And then we'll do the bottom arc and then we will draw the line for the eyelid in the middle. And then we will draw the iris of the eye, all right? And the pupil of the eye. And then we have just a few eyelashes up here right above where the eye itself is. And above that, we have this eyebrow, which comes down to about there. And like that. Okay? The nose over here is kind of like that and that, right? Not too many details here. That makes this one fairly easy to draw. It's the hard part is that it's so weird. Okay, next over here we can do the mouth. Let's see, it comes, really the line is out here. So we're gonna go, kinda comes in like this and then arches up like that and then comes down to that, all right? And then we have her lip that comes down like that and like that. And I mean, she's clearly smiling, so she's, she's not unhappy. And the bottom comes up here and meets that. And then her bottom lip kind of curves up a little bit and then curves back there and then meets there. And then for teeth, we are just gonna do some lines, okay? And I'm gonna erase this little bit right here and then bring this back out, okay? So there's our mouth. Next, we're gonna do this eye over here and this meets what, here? Maybe uh, here, right? So we'll go from, let's do the top lid up here. And then, oh, I did that too far over, didn't I? Yep. It's a race. About here. It goes up like that. And then like that to her hair. And we curve it around for her eyeball and the bottom, right? And then this just comes up kind of like straight up like that. Okay. And we have the top eyelid 
which goes like that and all the way back. And we have the bottom eyelid that goes like that all the way back. And then we draw in her iris and her pupil. And then we have some eyelashes that just come out from this area here in the bottom like that. Okay, now let's do her eyebrow. It starts way over here, right? And it arches back to her hair. This one's pointier and narrow. And there's that. Okay. So let's see, let's add this little dark mark right here. I don't know what that is, a wrinkle, I don't know. It's right there. And then for here, we have some hair. This comes down like that, right? And then this, and then this. Let's draw in some little, kind of like leafy hairs. Okay, have some hairs. Let's see, we didn't get the brim of the hat, and the brim of the hat just comes down like from an arch here and goes up there. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to firm up this line and smooth it out a little bit. Okay. So now... Let's do, I guess her ear, let's see, this starts here, right, it comes down to about there, and then she's wearing an earring, and so we're going to draw a circle right here, and then a teardroppy oval right here, and then we're going to erase the face right here. And I guess we can probably go ahead and erase that, because her weird, weird, weird finger is going to come up around there. Okay. Next up, we have her neck, which comes like, oh, that and just kind of curves down. And then from her shoulder, the shoulder arches gently and comes to about there. All right. Like that. Let's see, we can go ahead and decide where her arm is. We'll say it's here. Here, this, that's an easy line to get in. And oh, we need to draw the rest of her ponytail. Let's say that goes. I think I drew it too far down because that should be closer to her ear. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna make it make this part shorter. And there's where it pulls in, and then. Right, there's a ponytail holder, and then we're just going to do that and that for the bow. And then down here, this goes to about here. And so this is just kind of like an ovally teardrop, kind of really the same shape as that earring we just drew. Right, and from there, her other shoulder comes about there and down. Okay. Let's see. Next, let's go for the hand. This is going to be fun. Okay, so we get, we draw a straight line for the inside of this, like here. Okay, and this one comes up above it and is at an angle and kind of arched. Then we have her, um, her bracelet which is kind of kind of make a, a moon shape almost like that and then like that see how that kind of looks like a moon and then this is going to come around like that and this part's going to kind of come in too around her hand her hand we'll do our best with this because this is just plain old weird so it comes up I think I should have done this higher. 
but we'll see. So there's one finger that hits here, right? And so it comes out like this and down like that, okay? These are just curves. Think of these as curves because there's no better way to think about it because it's they're all weird. Okay, so that's a point and then that comes down like that. Oh, no, that doesn't come down like that. That is way too wide. That is a lobster claw. Okay, so this comes down like that. <laughs> that's better. Okay, and then we have this guy who comes up oh, about there. All right, and it comes down like that. And it comes down like that. Okay, and then we have this other one that comes and meets about right here. We'll fill in all this with black because these are really thick lines that Picasso was using. This comes in like that. Okay, and this other one comes in like that. All right, it comes down and comes way in and then goes out like that and that's the rest of her hand. I keep looking at it because I'm like, gosh, this looks weird. And I'm like, wait, Picasso's looks weird too. Okay, so then there's this weirdo finger growing out over here <laughs> and it curves around. Let's see, it comes out about here, all right? And then it curves around this earring and then goes up like to her ear right and then down on this curve back over here i'm gonna erase this bit okay i don't know anybody with fingers like this but you know picasso was a super creative guy okay so there are her fingers it's almost like she he, he accidentally made four fingers He's like oh no i need a fifth finger and then that's what happened Okay, so let's give her some fingernails. Those are lovely red. See, this one's kind of off to the side. Here's a fingernail. Here's a fingernail. And there's a fingernail. Okay, now let's get rid of any lines. Okay, so there are her weirdo fingers. I'm going to make this look like it matches up a little bit like that okay so that comes down like that and then let's do she's wearing a v-neck kind of so that comes down to about here i'm just gonna decide this is here i'm gonna draw a straight line down here a straight line going off in this direction and then she has a little collar that goes down like this and curves up like that and then this one does the same thing all right we're just not gonna really acknowledge it up here uh, and then she has this little bow thing like that and this one goes over here like that Okay, let's look over this, and I think that's it for the drawing portion. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I know I tend to, and I think this is it. So now what you want to do is you want to go back and erase any lines that you don't want to be there when you watercolor because once you put water on graphite or watercolor, you will not be able to erase your pencil marks anymore. So let's go back and just be really careful and erase everywhere you don't want a permanent line and then we'll get to painting. Okay, let's paint our Picasso. So I'm gonna start with black. You can start with any color you want really, but there's a lot of black in here and I wanna go ahead and get that in. So I'm gonna start with her hair and I'm just gonna do everything that's black. I'm actually, I'm gonna add another line here cause this is so thick. And this is just going to kind of come up here, kind of parallel to it, but then it's going to hit it right there. And I'm going to paint that part black too. Um, I'll worry about these thicker lines. I guess I can do that over here too, huh? It's like that. Um, but then I'm going to, the thicker lines I'll go back and um, 
and ink later. It's just these are so thick that let's let's just do them. Go ahead and paint them black. So I'm gonna paint. It'll be her hair. Um, and the this the the ribbon and these two things and the pupils of her eyes. Okay, there are blacks. Now we're gonna go, let's see. Is there anything I can do without touching a black? Oh, and I don't see that there is. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little bit of black on her nose, like, like that and that and then I'm gonna let this thing dry I really later I guess I can put up put it on but I want to do another layer of paint on her hair to make it darker anyway so I'm gonna dry it and then we'll do some other colors okay it's mostly dry you see how much drier I mean how much lighter this turns out um, once it's dry we're definitely gonna do a second layer on that but before then let's just check can put some brown in her eyes. Get some brown. This is not a brown that likes to be woken up. I'm gonna do my best, and we're just gonna paint the irises of her eyes. And don't, if you have any wet paint left, don't. There are her eyes. Next, let's go with the reds. I think um, we're going to do two rounds of reds. We'll do the actual reds, and then we're going to do her skin, and then we're going to go back with just a little bit of red and give her those rosy cheeks. But let's go with the bright red now and paint her lips and her fingernails. Okay, there's our red. That is a nice bright red, isn't it? I really like that red. Okay. Next, let's go ahead and do, um, let's see. Let's do her hat. And what I'm going to do for her hat is it's very yellowy and very gray, right? So I'm going to go with some watered down yellow ochre. That's just a brownie yellow. You can get that by just adding some brown to yellow. And I'm just going to try. Now, I hope I don't end up with a green because this is a very bluey gray. It's called Payne's Gray. So I'm just going to add some of this and way more of this. And see, water it down really well. And then let's see what color we get. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to paint this, that, <laughs> and all this, this color. And not get my hand in the red or the black. There's the hat. That will lighten up some. Okay, let's see what else we have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the same the yellow ochre it's kind of goldy for this earring over here so i'm just going to get this straight paint Let's see if you, yeah. just this paint right here um really potent on the brush and i'm just going to paint Ooh, i missed those lines let me get these before <sighs> oh wait yeah that sh that red should be okay check your red make sure it's okay there is the earring and we should be able to go ahead and paint her shirt and this tie and those are really different blues aren't they i'm gonna go in with this blue this is a greeny blue see i needed to clean it off some though um and i'm gonna paint this this color the dress is kind of like a light tealy seafoam greeny kind of color 
So we're going to do our best to make something kind of like it. We'll start with blue. Um, watch how potent your blue is. And I'm going to add add a little bit of yellow into it but not much because I want it to be mostly blue still I don't want it I don't want a straight green I want mostly blue and I just want some yellow in it let's see and we'll water it down really well so it's a light color and then let's see what color we end up with yeah, it's not potent enough, but that's about the right color. If that was the color once it dried, that would be great. But since watercolor dries a lot lighter, we need it to be a little more potent. So I'm just gonna get I'm just getting some blue and just a little bit of yellow. I just want a greeny blue. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna paint the blue part of her dress that includes this stuff and over here but not her arm and the white part. There's her shirt. The next big thing we really need to do, I think I'm just gonna straight up paint all of this up in here black later, but I can't, actually I can do it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I'm just gonna paint all between her fingers and stuff black um, because going through with a pen on that would be, would take forever. Okay, so now what we have left is, oh, that ran, um, is the, her skin and this kind of background color, which I'm going to say is optional, but I'm going to do. So for her skin, the first thing I need to do is dry the whole thing, and then we'll figure out exactly how we're going to do that. Okay, so hopefully we'll be good now with the skin. Now... This is a the very, very yellowy skin, right? Because I look at it and I see a lot of yellow ochre. Um, it's very yellow ochre-y, olive -y, kind of. So, let's see. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to get... Actually, I'll use this because this isn't that far off, okay? I'm going to do that, and I'm going to add a little pink I'm just at this point I'm just kind of adding things that I know usually go into skin so I'm going to add some pink I'm going to add a tiny tiny touch of blue ah that's a very potent blue okay so I'm going to go get some more usually when I make Caucasian-y skin, what I do is I mix um, orange, pink, and a wee bit of blue, and usually like a cerulean -y blue and not that color, so I kind of see what happened. Um, and this is an interesting color of skin, so we're going to wing it. Ooh, that's, that's a pretty color. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, needs more yellow. So just mix it around and see what you can do. Once that dries, that shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I think that should be okay. Because her skin isn't light, and so we don't want to like over lighten it because that makes it less interesting so I'm going to add more yellow more pink and maybe I'm going to touch of this blue because this blue doesn't wake up as quickly and so it, it won't be as potent because that that's a crazy blue down there okay it's about that color I'm going to add a little bit more water and these are just kind of my best shot at this. It's darker than this, but it's similar to this color. So, and I'm going to paint this, that, her hand, and that. Okay, let's go. Okay, 
There's her skin. If you didn't notice, I gave it two coats because um, it turned out like pretty much the same color as the hat and I wanted it to be a little bit darker like it is in the painting. So we don't have much more. This needs a second coat um, and it's dry but it seems bound and determined to run into anything next to it so I'm going to be sure that's dry before I do anything with that. Um, we need to do her cheeks. The skin obviously has to be dry for that. And we have to do the background. So the, my next step is going to be to dry the whole thing again. I think this is dry. Okay. So next up, let's do this pink. So here's what I'm going to do for this. And really it's more red. It's a reddier color. So I'm going to get some really diluted red. And I'm just going to do kind of a tint. So I don't want, let me make sure yeah, you can see that. I don't want too much and I'm just going to do it right on top. And really to start with, you're better off with too little than too much paint in it and more water because you can always go back and do it again. So this comes like that, like that. Make sure your paint is dry before you do this. There's that. Yeah, I see I don't have enough, so I'm just gonna do do it twice, but I wouldn't want to like end up with it like the same color or something as her um, nail polish or something, because that would be silly. Okay. Oh, and then we have to dry let this dry completely before mess with it. So um, while we're waiting on that, since that doesn't touch anything, I'm going to go ahead and do the background, which I think all I'm going to do is I'm going to get some black or gray and a bunch of it. And I'm, it, I'm just going to use uh, this color and really diluted vast majority of its water. I'm just not, I just don't want to leave this whole page white essentially. So I'm going to, in the thing, it's kind of gray. There's a hint of yellow in it. You can add a little bit of yellow in it if you want. Um, that looks good to me. That's going to dry really light. So just add a bunch of water, make up a bunch of it, and then paint all of the background. It's going to end up like subtly gray. Um, which is really what you want. You just don't want to be white, white, white. And you can rub out some things like this a little bit, or at least, you know, get it away from the bright lines. Here's my background. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I didn't want it to be super bright. This stuff is not dry yet. So I'm going to... Let's see. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do the second coat of black over the hair. I don't think I'm going to bother with the rest of it. I just want to kind of smooth out the hair. So I'm going to do that part, and then we'll go back with the pink again. Okay, her, her hair has another coat, and now I'm going to just go over this pink again. And she's going to have pinker cheeks. And now that she has pink cheeks, I'm going to dry the whole thing again. Okay, this is mostly dry. I have this little patch up here I'm going to have to be careful about. Um, and that's really it for the painting. I'm just going to go back and ink it. If you don't want to ink it, you don't have to. This is just the part that I'm going to do. So what I'm going to use, um, if you do ink it, I would use a thick pen so you're not like having to color over it. What I'm going to use is called a brush pen and it just comes out in a point. You do not need one of these to do this. It just, if you touch it lightly, it's small and then you get it bigger, it gets bigger. That's all. Um, it, I'm not very good at this. I'm kind of using this as practice. I'm not, I'm not good at, at brush pens. So, um, you know, your mileage may vary. I'm not going to ink everything like these lines around here that aren't really dark. I'm going to leave, but like the brim of the hat I'm going to do. I'm going to go back over the nose and the thick part of the eyes and the eyelashes um, and 
fingers and all of this down here. So I guess really he left this part, the bottom of the eye and the outside um, of everything except this stuff. So I'm going to align it and then we'll be done. And there we have it. I think I have lined everything that needs to be lined. And yeah, this this would be our finished painting. I really like how this one turned out. This is pretty cool. I'm going to sign it. Don't forget to sign it. I'm just going to put my initial in the bottom corner. You can sign it wherever you want. Okay. And woo, this one was super fun. Like I, I, I'm very, very happy with this one. I cannot wait to hang this one up. This is super cool. I hope you like yours too. I am sure it is super duper awesome. If you paint it along, oh, we have to do this too. If you paint it along, please take a picture of it and upload it. That goes for even coloring the traceable, which is available as always in the description of the video. Um, but yeah, take a picture of your work and send it to us. We love to see it and we love to share it. Uh, social media links are also in the description. And I hope you had a great time. I certainly did. This was a super fun one. Picasso is a really interesting guy. He's a fun guy to research. Um, and... I really like this painting and I really like how it turned out. So this is awesome. And thank you for joining me today. Uh, join me again next week and we will make more art. Bye.